Well, I think the, the, the big difference between ISIS and, and Al-Qaeda and the Taliban and many of these other groups that we've seen is, is first of all, this idea of implementing the Khalifate. Al-Qaeda was in Afghanistan for nearly 10 years, but they did not want to conquer Afghanistan. Um, so uh, um, ISIS is very keen on, on, on taking territory and holding it and completely disrupting the borders as they exist today um, of the Middle East. The ISIS believes that it should destroy these regimes first. It should take territory. It should change the nature of the Muslim world. We're not like Al-Qaeda that we are saying that you can build something in, in 25 years or in 50 years. We're saying you can build it right now. You can build the, the Islamic State right now. So I think that is something um, you know, that has uh, uh, attracted uh, a lot of people. Well, I think, you know, as I said, there is no single profile yes. uh, of, of young people going there. I mean, uh, there are young girls of 14 and 15 who are going there um, because they want boyfriends or because they want to get married. They have this kind of dream that maybe this is a, a great place, you know, to, to um, uh, get married and have babies or something. Uh, and there are people going there who want to fight. There are people who are psychopaths and who have real mental problems who are going there because they love uh, killing people and uh, whatever, you know. And of course, then there's the profile of the lives that many of these people are living in Europe. Uh, they're second class citizens. They don't have jobs. They're coming from a very poor economic background. Um, they've suffered a great deal in, in Europe as um, migrants, you know, and, and, and they want to go back and feel that they are they own themselves. But the other thing is that not only are they offering you a new life, but they're also offering you a chance to participate in building a new society, which is the Caliphate. Well, yes, I mean, certainly Western society should be doing more. But uh, I mean, the issue is that there is a crisis in the West also. I mean, look at the, the rate of joblessness in Spain. I mean, it, uh, it's what, 22% now at the moment, uh, and nearly 50% of young people are without jobs. It's, it's, it's a huge issue, and I don't think it's just uh, uh, the question of, of you know, pro pro providing migrants with jobs, when the bulk of young Spaniards or young French people also are going without jobs. Um, how, do you, how do you balance this? Education should be improved. Um, and, and, and job creation should become the number one task of the government.